Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. This is my continual invitation to you, proclaimed in holy whispers. When your heart and mind are quiet, you can hear me inviting you to draw near. Coming close to me requires no great effort on your part, it is more like ceasing to resist the magnetic pull of my love. Open yourself to my loving presence so that I may fill you with my fullness. I want you to experience how wide and long and high and deep is my love for you so that you can know my love that surpasses knowledge. This vast ocean of love cannot be measured or explained, but it can be experienced. The Holy Spirit and the Bride, the Church, believers say, Come, and let the one who hears say, Come, and let the one who is thirsty come, let the one who wishes take and drink the water of life without cost. Revelation 22 17 AMP All that my Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will most certainly not cast out. I will never, never reject anyone who follows me. John 6 37 AMP May he grant you out of the riches of his glory. To be strengthened and spiritually energized with power through his spirit in your inner self, and dwelling your innermost being and personality, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through your faith. And may you, having been, deeply, rooted and securely grounded in love, be fully capable of comprehending with all the saints, God's people, the width and length and height and depth of his love, fully experiencing that amazing, endless love. And, that you may come, to know practically, through personal experience the love of Christ which far surpasses, mere, knowledge, without experience, that you may be filled up, throughout your being, to all the fullness of God. So that you may have the richest experience of God's presence in your lives, completely filled and flooded with God Himself. Ephesians 3 16 19 AMP. Relax in my healing, holy presence. Allow me to transform you through this time alone with me. As your thoughts center more and more on me, trust displaces fear and worry. Your mind is somewhat like a seesaw. As your trust in me goes up, fear and worry automatically go down. Time spent with me not only increases your trust, it also helps you discern what is important and what is not. Energy and time are precious, limited entities. Therefore, you need to use them wisely, focusing on what is truly important. As you walk close to me, saturating your mind with scripture, I will show you how to spend your time and energy. My word is a lamp to your feet, my presence is a light for your path. And do not be conformed to this world, any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes, so that you may prove, for yourselves what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect in His plan and purpose for you. Romans 12, 2 AMP But as for me, I am like a green olive tree in the house of God, I trust, confidently in the loving kindness of God forever and ever. Psalms 52, 8 AMP Therefore see that you walk carefully living life with honor, purpose, and courage, shunning those who tolerate and enable evil, not as the unwise, but as wise, sensible, intelligent, discerning people, making the very most of your time, on earth, recognizing and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and diligence, because the days are, filled with, evil, Ephesians 5, 15, 16 a and p, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path, Psalms 119, 105 a and p, come to me when you are weak and weary, Rest snugly in my everlasting arms. I do not despise your weakness, my child. Actually, it draws me closer to you because weakness stirs up my compassion, my yearning to help. Accept yourself and your weariness, knowing that I understand how difficult your journey has been. Do not compare yourself with others who seem to skip along their life paths with ease. Their journeys have been different from yours, and I have gifted them with abundant energy. I have gifted you with fragility, providing opportunities for your spirit to blossom in my presence. Accept this gift as a sacred treasure, delicate, yet glowing with brilliant light. Rather than struggling to disguise or deny your weakness, allow me to bless you richly through it. A broken reed you will not break, off, and a dimly burning wick you will not extinguish he will not harm those who are weak and suffering, he will faithfully bring forth justice, Isaiah 42, 3 AMP. For the mountains may be removed and the hills may shake, but my loving kindness will not be removed from you. Nor will my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord who has compassion on you. Isaiah 54 hours, and 10 minutes AMP. In the same way the Spirit comes to us and helps us in our weakness. We do not know what prayer to offer or how to offer it as we should, but the Spirit Himself, knows our need and at the right time, intercedes on our behalf with sighs and groanings too deep for words. Romans 8 26 AMP.